Cain, Isaac, and uh, Perpetual Motion Discoveries and Paul Captain. Let's put it in the case now too, that'll be fun. We'll get that on video. We're going in there, we guy. Just pulled up to the Sun Dome. Clint's first question. Where's the Sun Dome? <laughs> Do they sell beer here?
very humble man. If you look at the uh, board, the voting board, if you see a vote that's something or two, he's not alone. Uh, who 
cares about his home and family as much as he cares about his country. I guess if you haven't heard, our, our 55th wedding anniversary is today. <laughs> This is quite a surprise. I didn't know I'd be part of the press conference, but I am glad to be here today. And uh, it is exciting to celebrate 55 years of marriage. And uh, I couldn't be happier. Ron's always done everything right, and I have to follow along because of that. So, and I thank you all for coming. The guy that is my hero, the guy that is the greatest representative of the liberty movement in our time, my father, Ron Paul. I saw it wasn't the hurricane that I was worried about, but I saw it in the said, Revolution is over. There's going to be no revolution. <laughs> Major paper in Washington, D.C. They said, The revolution will not be happening. <laughs> Don't they only wish? <laughs> Thank you.
I like the rustic. So is this not all of it necessarily is the sand, the yeah. fossil tent. It is all that. Yeah. So it's not actually coral. No, it's I mean, limestone. limestone. Right, that's the baseline to zero to the top. Science wow. breaks up to So it still has some energy. So what is this doing now, EMF? It's just an EMF detector. It just shows all electromagnetic fields. You have one on your smartphone. Mm hmm It's not as good as the ones you buy at, you know, electronic stores, but it still detects something. So can we really get it spinning and see what it reads? Read zero? What do you think about the anti-gravity claims? Nah, he, he started doing this after proper thunder. Yeah. Kind of makes no sense. Yeah. And if it was a rotation, it would have took him less than 20 years. Oh, you mean he did all this nonsense with the electricity after the park? The after the park was done. Wow. We yeah. actually met quite a few people who knew him who still, who's still alive today. And they keep giving the same stories and on over and over. So no, he used to play with the after the park was done. Oh, really? What about that little black box that everybody's talking about? It's actually about? called a gear breaker. What oh, is that? Really? Yeah, it's basically um, for okay. pulley systems. When That's you have it in midair, you pull the brake and it breaks in the midair so it doesn't fall back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's that, this thing? No, the, the black box, not the black, black box. box in the center. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a gear breaker. And what are these? These are condensers of yeah, some sort? Yeah, um, um, uh, variable capacitors from um, the short wave radios. Wow. I was a radio operator in the military, so I recognize the <coughs> parts. Very cool. Basically, broken radio components you mostly see here. The bottles can be used either a type of inductor or capacitor or maybe some type of radio antenna as well. I can tell you the whole park was actually his radio antenna. He had cut wire, this over here, wrapped around the <coughs> whole entire park itself. Really? This is wrapped around the whole entire park. Interesting. So the whole entire park is radio antenna. Just to get current in the area. To get signals from all the way from Timbuktu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Far, far away. Interesting. That's during World War II. Smart. So we're speculating he wanted to see what was happening out there in his country in Austria. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Now the park yeah, itself supposedly is on a ley line, a natural magnetic field. Right. But what I see is more of a spiritual aesthetic, not scientific. Yeah, well, we believe he was a Freemason. <coughs> they go hand in hand. Uh, we believe he was a Freemason, and a lot of the symbology is Masonic or Egyptian in origin. Yeah. So I do myself study sacred geometry. I see a lot of it in the park. Yeah, do you mind yeah, yeah. uh, if you film it? No. Cool. You're setting up tables outside, what's that for? Oh, because we had a hurricane. Well, supposed it was uh, so you guys saw we put everything back now. Yeah, <coughs> I see, I see. We put everything back. So what cool. What do you mean sacred geometry in the park? Did you show us? Oh, like sacred geometry, there? basically, people start sacred geometry believe the creator of the universe, the creator of the universe itself is sacred geometry. Right. They usually carry symbols with me, but I don't have it. It's um, the main symbol they use is called the flower of life. The yeah. flower of life itself contains all five platonic solids. So each photon is how itself supposed it has its own resonant frequency and creates a type of matter around it or with it or use it. Um, <coughs> so it itself used that type of schematic in the park, like the spiral itself. The whole park itself is in the shape of a large square spiral or square six. Yeah, Spirals yeah. are like uh, um, coils uh, induce and create more energy. Mm. Some of us, we do believe the park is on a crossroad between ley lines, natural magnetic fields or node point. Yeah, is this so considered in, like uh, in portions of the triangle? Supposedly, it should be one of the tips of the mirror triangle. That would make sense. That would have negative. Because they said the supposedly. This is a tip. Supposedly. Yeah, yeah. Supposedly. They said the tip is around South Florida somewhere. Mm -hmm. And this will be the only point that we know that has that had ley lines on it. I say yeah. had because the ley lines move towards the Air Force Base, oddly enough. Yes, sir. Is that right? I've been reading a lot about ley lines lately. They're saying moving, rapid movements. Uh, I've been in the military about 10 years. I know most of our bases are on ley lines as well. Yeah. Most of the bases are? Mm -hmm. Really? Not just that's American bases. That's Chinese, not like yeah. Japanese. Just for communication purposes? That's what they tell me. For all kinds of purposes. Yeah, okay. That's what they say. It's for I'm communication sure you purposes. Have a, a yeah. Top secret security clearance, you know. Yeah. Like <laughs> I found out these um these stealth fighters can actually fly out ley lines to be actually literally invisible to radar. More invisible than usual. Hmm. By flying on a magnetic Interference. Interference. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, so uh, you said, like you mentioned the flower of life, are there any like vector equilibriums or anything like that around here? The only thing I can show you is basically the 
the symbology that's the impermanence. Like, I'll show you through. Yes, let's do it. Um, I'm, uh, 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 I'm, u
at Bahia Honda State Park. It's beautiful. Not just empty, filled with gravel.
Walking into the process. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, that's out for the poop. Let's do it. Let's do it. To see the future? Bam! That's the truth. We've intellectually woken up that the paradigm of debt and death is completely unsustainable. $17 trillion is a real number, 900 foreign bases. We're occupying 140 countries. All empires, guys, all empires fall, right? The br no worries. No worries. We're actually, we're actually Republic rats. You know, I'm saying. We, I'm just we, going we to see what it's like. Yeah, it's I understand. Fine. Fine. It's it's a dark mass in there, bro. They it's not good. But I'm gonna argue that Obama needs to stop lying and get us out of the wars like he promised. They're all liars. They're all liars except the good doctor, though. Look at his record. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's tough, man. You're giving these guys 30 second sound bites, but they can. Dr. Paul says they can never unhear you, right? Yeah. And so we're we're basically what we're saying is is. Isn't really radical thought, but to the establishment, it is radical. And these are pretty much founding our founding father principles, um, you know, about civil liberties and about economics. Is about adopting an Austrian school of thought, which runs in direct contrast to Keynesianism. Yeah. Keynesianism basically believes that the government is going to be able to stimulate the economy through their policy. We completely reject that notion. The, the Keynesian economics, when the government spends money to stimulate the economy, destroys wealth through monopolies. When you have monopolies, yeah, when you when you when you have monopolies, you destroy wealth. And so we want to open up the market. The good doctors told us to read Hayek, Rothbard, you know, von Mises. We are now we are now educated with the proper economics, understanding that the, the destroying the value of the dollar, it, it will hurt our society. And that's in the, these guys. A lot of these guys are pretty educated, but you have to under understand economics, reject Keynesianum, understand Austrian economics to where it's at. Read Rothbard, read Hayek. You won't be able to put it down. I mean, these guys have to hear it. And, and with the economic answer, can fix so much. And then you can actually bring in the foreign side, the foreign policy, and they're together. Sorry, I had to tell him. I don't want to insult them. But the education they got was bad. The education they got was phony. Keynesian economic destroys wealth. How are you doing today? Good. Destroys wealth. 